Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mike at Woo Audio. Episode 5 of our Frequently Asked Questions video series. Today we're going to talk about Apple's announcement to support high resolution audio. So there are three features that Apple added to their music subscription service. First one is lossless audio. This is their version of CD quality. Um, they are actually streaming at Apple Lossless Codec and not AIFF, which is the highest. So the second thing that they are adding on top of Lossless Audio is Dolby Atmos. This is actually like a simulated surround sound feature, sort of like Dolby Surround back in the day with uh, DVDs. Now, we haven't heard it yet, so we're very excited to try that out. The third feature on top of lossless is high res audio. Now this is higher resolution than CD quality and Apple say that uh, they're going to support up to 24 bits 192 kilohertz which is pretty good. Uh, it's not the highest that you can go. Uh, today we're seeing music files that are 384 kilohertz uh, and also DSD direct stream digital also known as super audio CD. So Apple is not supporting those officially. Apple's press release also stated that in order to get high res audio out of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac, you need an external audio device like a digital to analog converter or DAC. We audiophiles here know what a DAC is, so it's very interesting to see a consumer brand uh, promote the use of an external DAC. Now, I want to tell you guys that high res audio from an iPhone or iPad and a Mac of course it's not new uh, it's actually been around for a long time it, it was just that Apple didn't officially support it now I'm going to show you guys a quick demo using uh, my iPhone 10 playing high res audio running iOS 11 alright so here's a setup that I put together It's very simple I have an iPhone 10 with Apple's lightning adapter connected to a Sony Walkman. I'm using the Walkman so you can see the uh, sample rate. I'm actually using iOS 11.4 as you can see here. So not even the latest software. And we're going to use the Apple's music app. I input it in a high res file. Uh, this is a 24 bit 192 file uh, into the music player app using uh, previously known as iTunes. File is AIFF uncompressed so it has the best sound quality and we're just going to hit play and as you can see here on my Walkman it clearly shows it's coming in as PCM 192 kilohertz so this is the file that the iPhone is actually sending out to the DAC for processing so by default Apple has supported high-res audio since at least iOS 11. Um, so I'm going to show you a different app. Uh, this is a Sony app and this app supports uh, many other formats, um, high res and DSD, direct stream digital. This app is very basic, uh, it's not very elegant, but it works and it sounds pretty good. Um, unfortunately, this app does not support artwork in WAVE but if you have your file in DSD or AIFF, it does support artwork. So I'll show you a track from uh, Miles Davis. This is uh, a DSD file, so direct stream digital, which is higher resolution than PCM. And we're going to hit press play. So it's playing now, and you can see on the Walkman, it's showing at DSD 2.8 megahertz. So Clearly, the iPhone, iPhone 10 even, uh, with the Apple adapter, can send out um, very high resolution files uh, to an external DAC. As you saw in the demo, plain high res audio is possible from an iPhone right now. Now, but if you want music from Apple Music, uh, the streaming service, you have to wait till Apple turns this feature on. We're going to put a link in the description to MA Recordings where you can download and try out high res audio on your phone right now. It is nice to see Apple is supporting 
and promoting high-res audio on their iPhones and iPads. So we are very excited to try this feature out. And if you have any questions specifically to your needs, you can send us an email at info at wooaudio.com. Or if you have a question that you'd like us to cover in an upcoming FAQ video, send us an email with the subject line FAQ videos and we'll try to get to that. Thanks for watching and we'll see everyone in our next video.